Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a quick one for you guys going over iOS 13.4.1, which was just released earlier today. Now this update came in at 95.2 megabytes on average for most people, and it includes three major fixes. Now only two of them are listed here, but I'm gonna go over another one for you guys. Now it was literally just last week uh, that iOS 13.4 came out, so Apple's really pushing these things out pretty quickly here. Uh, but as you can see, this fixes an issue where devices running iOS 13.4 could not participate in FaceTime calls with devices running iOS 3.6 and earlier, or macOS 10.11.6 or earlier. So that's a huge bug that a lot of people are facing, obviously, during this pandemic. But Apple has gone ahead and fixed that here in this update. Now, it also addresses a bug in the settings app where choosing Bluetooth from the quick actions menu would cause it to fail. Now, that bug that they're referring to is when you tap and long press on the settings icon and go to Bluetooth. Uh, typically, it would crash there. Uh, it's not doing that anymore. So those are two bug fixes, but you guys know I said that there were three. And the third one is actually huge for me uh, because I noticed this way, way back. And that is when you're updating an app, um, before it would not show you this icon with the loading symbol. You'd have to actually go into the folder and see which app was updating, but they fixed it to where if you're updating an app in one of these folders, the actual whole folder icon will show the loading symbol and show you how far along it is. So that is a huge, huge plus that they have finally fixed that. I swear it's been over a month that that glitch has been happening and it really bothers me a lot for some reason. Not really sure why, but it did. Now I know for a fact that a lot of you guys are gonna ask, how's the performance and how's the battery life? Well, if we head into settings here, scroll down to battery, check on my battery health. First of all, still at 99%, looking pretty good. Let me turn this into light mode here. There we go. That's a little easier to see. So 99% battery. And if we scroll down here, you guys can see kind of how I use my phone. Now, don't mind these. This is just what happens when you're on the phone uh, all night and it just uses screen off time. So that is totally normal for me. Uh, nothing to be alarmed there. Now, last 10 days, you guys can see some days I average a lot of screen on time, some days not so much, uh, but battery life overall has been really good for me. I do charge throughout the day, I charge whenever I can, uh, so I highly recommend you guys kind of adopt that strategy as well. I'll probably make a new battery tips video just going over everything that I've learned, but having a battery at 99% health and using it so often, I think I can teach you guys some tricks. So really there's nothing to report here with battery. I think that is great on this version. There's no issues that I've had so far. Of course, I just installed this today, so we'll see, but overall 13.4 has been great. Now performance, everything seems faster. They fixed so many crashes. Uh, this is just a really stable version overall. I highly recommend everyone in the public update to this. Now, if you remember my last video going over iOS 13.4, I said, maybe hold off but I ran some more tests, talked to a few other reviewers, and basically came to the conclusion that 13.4 was also safe and easily able for me to recommend to everyone. So if you're not on either of those, go ahead and update. There's no reason not to, uh, unless you are planning to jailbreak. But yeah, I'm gonna put a poll uh, at on our community page, you guys can go vote in that. And I'm basically just gonna keep asking you guys, you know, how your experience has been so that I can compile those results into a video for you guys. And hey, you guys might even get a shout out if you leave a comment and let me know your experience. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.